In this video, we want to do some true-false questions about limits of functions. The first statement is if neither limit of f of x as x approaches a nor limit of g of x as x approaches a exists then limit of f of x plus g of x as x approaches a does not exist. We want to figure out this statement is true or false. Suppose the function f of x to be 1 over x and suppose a to be 0. So limit of the function f of x which is 1 over x as x approaches 0 does not exist. And let's suppose the function g of x to be negative 1 over x. Limit of this function, limit of negative 1 over x, as x approaches 0, also does not exist. Because in numerators, we have a non-zero number, and the denominator approaches 0. And when we have a non-zero over zero, the limit does not exist. So limit of f of x doesn't exist, and limit of g of x also doesn't exist. But note that if we add this function to the other function, if we add 1 over x to the negative 1 over x, we get to this limit, limit of x approaches 0. f of x is 1 over x g of x is negative 1 over x. If we add them, it equals 0. And limit of 0 as x approaches 0 is 0. So as you can see, by this example, we see that it is possible that the limit of f doesn't exist, limit of g doesn't exist, but limit of the sum of them exists. So this statement is not always true and we can say the statement is false. Of course it is possible that the limit of f doesn't exist, limit of g also doesn't exist, and limit of the sum of them also doesn't exist. But it is not always true. And because it is not always true, as you see in this example, so the statement generally is false. Now look at this statement. If limit of the function f of x as x approaches a exists, but the limit of the function g of x as x approaches a does not exist, then limit of f of x plus g of x as x approaches a does not exist. We want to figure out this statement is true or false. Let's suppose that limit of f of x plus g of x as x approaches a exists. So here we suppose that this statement is not true and we suppose that this limit exists. We want to see what happens. But note that limit of the function g of x as x approaches a can be written as limit of f of x plus g of x 
minus f of x because f of x and f of x cancel so it is equal to g of x so we can write limit of g of x as x approaches a as limit of this expression but based on the limit laws based on the laws of limit we can write limit of f of x plus g of x minus f of x as limit of f of x plus g of x minus limit of f of x note that we can write this in this form because each of these limits exists because we know that from here this limit exists and also we know that the limit of f of x also exists otherwise we cannot use this limit law so we can write this limit in this form and because this part of the limit exists from here and because this limit also exists from here so this limit must exist but based on the statement the limit of g of x as x approaches a doesn't exist and so this is a contradiction we get to the opposite of the hypothesis of the statement based on the statement limit of g of x as x approaches a doesn't exist but we get to the opposite of that and we prove that limit of g of x as x approaches a exists and this contradiction shows that our hypothesis here that we suppose that limit of f plus g as x approaches a exists is not correct is not right and so this shows that the given statement is true because when we suppose that this limit exists we get to a contradiction if neither limit of f of x as x approaches a nor limit of g of x as x approaches a exists then limit of f of x times g of x as x approaches a also does not exist what do you think this statement is true or false Limit of f of x as x approaches a doesn't exist. Limit of g of x as x approaches a doesn't exist. What do you think about limit of f of x times g of x as x approaches a? If you consider the function f of x to be a piecewise function in the form of 1 when x is greater than 0 and negative 1 when x is less than 0 note that the limit of the function f of x as x approaches 0 doesn't exist because if x approaches 0 from the right we have to use this equation and the limit of f of x for x greater than 0 is 1 because the function is always 1 so limit of f of x as x approaches 0 from the right is 1 but limit of this function as x approaches 0 from the left is negative 1 because the function is always negative 1 for all x's that are less than 0 so this limit is negative 1 and because the left limit and right limit are not equal to each other the right limit is 1 the left limit is negative 1 so the limit does not exist at 0 so limit of the function f of x as x approaches 0 does not exist now consider the function g of x to be for example 
2 and negative 2. When x is greater than 0, 2, and when x is less than 0, negative 2. In a similar way for f, you can prove that limit of g of x as x approaches 0 does not exist. But what happens if, about f times g in this case? If you notice, if you multiply f by g, f of x times by g of x is again a piecewise function. When x is greater than 0, f is 1. And when x is greater than or equal 0, g is 2. So f times g is 2 times 1, which is 2. So the function f times g when x is greater than or equal 0 is always 2. And the function f times g when x is less than 0 is negative 1 times negative 2. Negative 1 times negative 2 is 2. So when x is less than 0, the function f times g is also 2. And so it shows that for all values of x, doesn't matter x is positive, negative, or 0, always f times g is 2. So the limit of the function f of x times by g of x as x approaches 0 is 2, because the function is always 2. So this example shows that. It is possible that the limit of f doesn't exist. Limit of g of x doesn't exist, but limit of f times g exists. And so the statement is false. Another statement. If neither the limit of the function f of x as x approaches a, nor limit of the function g of x as x approaches a exists, then limit of f of x over g of x as x approaches a does not exist. So limit of f of x doesn't exist. Limit of g of x doesn't exist. What do you think about limit of f over g as x approaches a? Again, similar to the previous question, by counterexample, I will show that this statement is false. It is not true that Whenever limit of f doesn't exist and limit of g of x doesn't exist, always limit of f over g doesn't. It is possible that this limit exists or doesn't exist. And so we cannot say that always this limit doesn't exist. And so the statement is false. And I will prove this by a counter example. We have to try to find two functions that the limit of them doesn't exist, but the limit of the ratio of them, the limit of quotient, exists. If we choose the function f of x to be 1 over x, the limit of 1 over x as x approaches 0 does not exist. Because numerator is non-zero, denominator approaches zero, so it gets larger and larger. Non-zero over zero is a large number, and so the limit does not exist. Also, if we choose g of x to be the same function, 1 over x, or you can choose another function like negative 1 over x, 2 over x, something similar to this, I prefer to choose the same function. It's up to you. Limit of 1 over x as x approaches 0 does not exist. But note that if we divide this by this, limit of f of x over g of x 
which is limit of 1 over x over 1 over x as x approaches 0 because numerator and denominator are the same we can cancel this from the top and the bottom and so this equals 1 so this example shows that it is possible that limit of f over g exists and so by this counter example we prove that this statement is false.